It's Christmas and we've got a mega haul. It's Christmas Eve. Since owning the Xbox Series X, the one thing I've done is I've got myself on Game Pass and I've started playing the Halo games again and it has relaunched my love for this series. With it and with the upcoming release of Halo Infinite on the next gen consoles, I've got us a Halo Mega Haul. So I've got plenty of duplicate tabs open on my computer to tell me all about these things and I'm doing a random opening of each package in the first one is this Shepard, there's something stuck to the case there so first up is the world of halo they're all world of halo by the way a new thing scaled series series one the world of halo spartan mark 7 with pulse carbine so let me just open up the uh the tab with said spartan so this is 9.5 centimeters tall. Uh, carbine accessory and terrain stand. Spot Mark 7 figure is fully articulated for maximum playability and posing possibility. Every world of Halo figure is scaled with each other. Includes one code to unlock in-game content for Halo Infinite. So, that's quite cool actually. Now who makes these? Who makes them? can't see a manufacturer Who are they? wicked cool toys okay so this is the first one this is the packaging beautiful packaging really nice window boxes plenty to look at you got the spartan here uh the carbine there you that must be the download code and what the um the case may look like the box art and then we've got the stand in the background there and on the back we've got the master chief here running urgently towards something so now we're going to try and open these packages as we go so i've played i've downloaded the master chief collection on uh on the game pass and i loved replaying halo one two and three and then because i went from halo one two and three straight on to halo four there was definitely a problem because there's a difference there there is a difference i didn't quite notice it the first time first time i played these games because they were so well spaced out you don't you always forget that yeah but since playing i mean you notice the improvements for one two and three you notice how they stepped up a notch what they did to make the game better different innovative however you want to call it and then halo 4 came along and it had a lot of potential you could tell but there was a little bit of something missing and i don't know what that was so let me know your thoughts in the comments about what you think i'm going to go for a quick pause because can't ah got it got it so you get this young man in his in his window box and then you get the the backing of the box sort of like this but it's not that easy to get out much like the mcfarlane stuff we were doing last week we've got the dlc content let's keep that safe we've got the stand and then we've got this spartan inside the box there he is. They're not a bad size, they're small. They're small, comparatively speaking, some of the other stuff we've unboxed, but nice size. And they seem like there's lots of detail so far. So this is that Spartan, Spartan Mark 7. There is a fair amount of detail. Look, oh, go on, focus. Focus, there we go. There's a fair amount of detail for something so small. His armor, he's got bendy ankles, bendy knees. Bend the elbows and his head moves a bit. So let's try and get his gun in his hand. Let's try and get his gun in his hand, which is never a fun exercise to do. And being a bit of a noob, I'm not entirely sure I'm always doing these things right. No doubt someone will be looking and offering up their opinions, which you're welcome to. Oh, drop the gun and go. And we've got him out so we've got him on his base now what i've done is put his gun on his back there's a peg hole there and i think that looks better because you can start creating some stances he looks like he's about to break into dance where his knees are or hers theirs 
That's it, beautiful detail on, on these. I mean, for $9.99 in most of the toy shops and the uh, collectible places, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely little piece. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the Spartan Mark 7, and this is the DLC, so when you get to the game, Oh, no, you don't. There you go. You can redeem it there. There you have it. Awesome. Okay. On to the next bag. And in the next bag, we have this one. Same size. 9.5 centimeters. World of Halo. And it's the... UNSC Marine with Commando Rifle. Very similar box, same artwork, same windows, same Master Chief running urgently on the back. Got a green base as opposed to sort of like the carbon gun metal on the other one and another game add on there. So I'm gonna quickly do a super cut and we'll have him out the box. There we go, much easier, wasn't it? So this is the Marine out of the packaging. Camo trousers, we've got a holstered pistol there. Knee pads, boots. Poseable in a similar fashion to the Spartan. Got a combat knife holstered there that cannot be removed. And then we've got the Marine outfit. Really cool, really cool. Now, will this one be easier to get hold of the gun? That is the question. Will it be easier or will it be The same difficulty because that's not right i'm coming back i'm not having an entirely great time with getting weapons into hands so i think we're going to put them on the backs for the time being there he is with his stand or she is sorry gun on the back looking tidy nice pegs seem a bit wide apart but i reckon you can pose these to look good and that's the the marine done next up Ah, the chief himself, the master chief. 9.5 centimeters, the same as the others, all scaled up. Same as before, chief, download, weapon, and he comes with the assault rifle, and he's got also a textured base to go on. Again, packaging all identity the same, and we're going to supercut. So the chief has been freed from his uh, packaging. Again, awesome detail, the, the battle damaging that he's got on him. He's obviously had a flashing when this was made, or he's at some point in battle, he's got dirt on his shins, different bits of damage and scarring. And then he's got his base, which is like a, a bumpy sort of texture, different to the other two. And with that, with that, I'm just getting him on his, uh, on his base. And then also, the assault rifle plenty of detail in this for something that's quite so small but there we go i'm going to plug that on his back now his size his size when i get this pegging because i'm trying to do two things at once his size is bigger than your average so even though it says 9.5 centimeters that's him next to a marine because obviously the chief is bigger we all know this so they've, they have scaled it quite well actually because he's a good size bigger than uh, the, the marines awesome so the last one before we get to the big big the big one out of this set is the jackal with stalker rifle probably the most irritating bad guy in any of the games are these Shoot you from a distance, scurry around, and be generally unpleasant to deal with, but available, so he was bought. Supercut, certainly one of the more striking figures out of the set so far. He's, the armor, the color of the armor is beautiful, and the detail on like the, the, the wisps or the tentacles or whatever, and on his back, even there on, the, on his hind legs, the, the caps, wonderful detail. For $9.99 again. And look at that. He's even his even there. Even his mouth opens. Awesome. Okay, so that's got great detail too. Very impressed. 
very impressed. I'm just going to get him on his base, which is the same as the Chiefs, the same style base, as you can see. And then there's his, his shooting rifle, his plasma rifle, whatever it was called. I don't know whether this, this doesn't look like it sticks on his back. So I'm going to have to try and get it in his hands. Oh dear. And he's got individual claws. It's not like a cluster of fingers. This could go horribly wrong and you could be watching this video for hours. All right, I've managed. I've managed. To, it's got a peg on it, so there's got to be somewhere it goes. The gun has. It's got a peg. But I can't tell where. All right, I've managed to sort of get it in his hand. I'm going to bend his. I'm just going to cut this. Okay, we sort of got it there. I didn't cut it. Sort of got it there. Yeah, awesome. Now, the final one. The final one, one I'm very excited about. Look at this. It's the uh, Mongoose with Master Chief. So we've got the, the quad bikes. There is a Warthog available. This is $19.99, the Warthog's $29.99. I might buy just to finish the collection. But yeah, they've got the Mongoose, we've got a Rocket Launcher, and we've got the Chief there. So Supercut, before we Supercut that, I'm just gonna show you the rest of the packaging actually. So that's the box, very similar, big window, all on the same scale, and then just a larger version of the picture on the back of the other cases. Back to the Supercut. I sort of went ahead and got him situated on the mongoose itself. The space on the back for another another figure, which might be quite cool. I might get a marine on the back or something if it's big enough. But that's it. I mean, this is this, it's a lot of fun. It's what it's plastic, but it's really well made. And the details, like the scuffs and the scarring, the paint wearing off there. I think it's the same chief figure as the one in the others. I'll have to double check. So there's the mongoose, and then this is the rocket launcher. As you can see, the barrel's quite badly bent. As with most things like this, it's quite badly bent, but a nice amount of detail, and it will plonk on his back. So there you go, the chief on his mongoose with his rocket launcher. I really like this. It's plastic. It's not overly cheap. For the money, I think it's excellent value for money. I mean, what we've got here is what, 60 quid we have for collectibles I've opened. And there's a lot there for the money. And no one's going to turn their nose up at this. Any any self-respecting Halo fan. And they can be used. They're not on the very sort of toy scale of some of the things we open and look at. But definitely, these are going to look great on my shelf. Really happy. And that's it. It's Christmas Eve. I may upload a couple more videos over the holiday, but I did break up from work yesterday and I am planning on enjoying lots of time with my wife and my boy. No doubt the wife will have bought me at least something to come in here, which I'll unbox. But I am hoping to spend some quality time with the team. It's been very busy and they deserve a lot of my attention. So if I don't upload anymore, I will see you at the beginning of January. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the holidays, whatever you celebrate, if it's not Christmas. Happy New Year. This year's been tough, hasn't it? And uh, I appreciate every single person who's took the time to watch my videos, give me likes, subscriptions, comments as well. Thank you. Really grateful. And I've got some plans for the for next year. Once the restrictions start lifting, and we can start going into things like the toy markets and uh, the comic conventions and whatever. We're going to start going and doing these and doing video logs and this kind of stuff. So there's plenty to come next year when things go back to normal. But seriously, with how precious time has been this year, I am grateful to every single person that has got involved in this channel, whether it's comments, likes, follows, shares, anything like that. I'm grateful to all of you. Next year, we are going to do video logs, unboxing, steelbooks, collectibles, the conventions and plenty more giveaways. So if I don't see you, have a good one and I'll see you next year. Bye bye.